Well, welcome back to Final Fantasy XIV Dawn Trail. Last time, we finally started the story, got decently, probably about an hour into it, maybe a little more. So far, I'm liking what I'm seeing, liking what I'm hearing. The music is top notch right now. I love the jazz, but it's time to continue the story. Also, quick thought. Uh, sadly, it's a bit late because I already uploaded the one and I'm about to edit the other, but uh, episode one and two are the ones where there's no story whatsoever and they are the, you know, just me uh, messing with the two new classes and doing this and that. I didn't think of it until later. I'm like, oh, I should have fused them into one episode, edit it down a bit and all that, but oh well. I think I'm going to call them like Final Fantasy Dawn Trail Prelude 1 and 2. Because the, the story is the main thing here. Well, the classes still have a story to them, but hey, enough about me rambling. Let's jump right into it. Aaron Vale. Upon speaking to Aaron Vale, several cutscenes will play in sequence. It is recommended that you set aside sufficient time to view these cutscenes in their entirety. Which I just got done eating some dinner, got out of work. I mean, well, I got out of work, I ate some dinner, and now I'm ready to play some FF14. I do plan on playing more this weekend, which is my weekend. If you're wondering, it's 4th of July Thursday, and I'm recording this on a Tuesday. Uh, so yeah, that's the time frame. I, I'm trying to play more because I only got, what, three things recorded? I. And the funny thing is, on early access, and I barely touched it. Elden Ring's been stealing me. I'm gonna beat that one day, by the way. I'm still going. The right succession. Aaronville has been waiting, waiting patiently for your arrival. I mean, I've been here for half an hour eating, but I'm here now. I've acquainted the twins with the city as best as I could in a short time. Oh, right, right, right. Let's do this. Their unbridled enthusiasm makes it rather difficult. Invariably, something would catch their eyes, spurring them to run down an alley to investigate. So it was like hurting a pair of unruly corals. <laughs> Doesn't shock me. Oh yeah, remember how I said, hey, I probably won't remember the accent I give her that I was trying to do badly? Yeah, I don't. Hey, hey, I understand. Oh yeah, I'm not doing that. Hey, I understand all too well. Charlana has the same effect on me. I got feel it's yeah, I don't I, I don't do accents or voices well. Right then, now it's time to go inside the palace. Papa will know want will I know I'm home. And to meet the allies I've chosen. Given how impulsive he is, though, there's no telling what he might be in for. I can't wait to meet your papa. Because he you make him sound. Oh, I actually know the entire place makes him sound credible because he did all of this. I hear fighting. Oh, the Stinian. What's he doing here? All oh, right, yeah, okay. We saw him take a boat. Right, right, right. Estinian? When did he get here? He beat us. He left before we did. I remember that short cutscene now. I need to see if there's a setting for that, by the way. Don't worry, I'll do it later. What's the point? Why is he here? Oh, you know this man? Whenever my father spots a promising opponent, he invites them to Sun Perch to duel. Pressing duties or no, he can't resist a good fight. Wait, are you adopted? Because your father doesn't look like you. So the one Estinian is crossing blades with. Save my darling daughter. Yeah, but he's confused. 
we're confused. Now that you are the strongest I fought in many a moon, if not longer, it is the privilege of a lifelong lived to face such a formidable soul. Well, that's a good thing to say for him. <laughs> If it's formidable you want, then look no further than that man there. Hey, easy. I just got here, guys. Okay, it's fine. I'm good. Hmm. I see you, warrior. We had no idea you meant to visit Tyral. I've seen what lies east. This time I chose west. And thus did our itinerant dragoon make his travel plans. Just don't give him our coffer, please. You witnessed our bout. If you thought he was fearsome, that was with one head dozing. I'm not sure I understand. Oh, is that why the one head's covered? The old man has been feeling his ears. The uncovered side is the head of resolve, and age has only deepened his love for combat. But the head of reason, wiser of the two, sleeps more and more these days. As I understand it, the veil helps with the restoration of his magical energies. Enough about me, Lamati. I want to hear of your adventures. Lamachi? A term of endearment. It's what my family calls me. I'm gonna turn the game up just a bit for you. There we go. Did we see you in the palace? <laughs> Great in Southern Ash. It's Erenville now. Don't show it. Oh, eh? <laughs> I took the name while abroad, and have since grown accustomed to it. Hmm. Erenville, then. And these others, I assume, are Lama T's recruited allies. Tempered steel. Yet, as much as I'd enjoy testing their metal, the hour of the right is at hand. I will summon the other claimants at once. Oh, we're getting right into it. Then I shall leave you to it. Good fortune, my friends. Hmm. Yeah, it's still need to be around. All right, let's see who our opponents are going to be. Of course, they save him for last because I get, but he's the main bad guy. Except then there's going to be another main bad guy that probably shows up near the end. But this one, that's our main antagonist. <laughs> Got some green cat guy to those cat chick us. Yeah. The claimants are assembled. The first promise. Zorolja. Oh, that's her brother. The second promise. Ona. I don't remember you being talked about. The third promise. Uglamat. And lastly, the chosen of Mamuk, Bakun Chaja. You 
four will compete in the right of succession, the outcome of which will decide who takes my place as Dawn Serpent. I am not the man I once was. My wiser half sleeps the days away. And it is time I yield my position. But mine is a torch that has never been passed. Tuliola is young. And so I look to the always for inspiration. The rite of succession. The means by which the Autarch of Mamuk was chosen. Only the two headed were deemed fit for this contest. But the Tuliola I built is a nation of many peoples. Our leader needn't have two heads, nor be a Mamuja at all. <sighs> So I gave the right of claimant, not only to the son I sired, but to my adopted children oh, as okay. well. okay. Yeah, they're adopted. I was going to say, how did you make that? Yet the opportunity to rule was still not equal. That is why a recent tournament offered a place in the contest as the winning prize. <laughs> Now you have us to compete against. Ah, oh, though it seems the one head was already too afraid to face us in the tournament. <laughs> Our brother was in shock to Rol leading the Lands Guard on a campaign to eradicate a Tural Vidral. Anyone with sense would know he was too busy for games. Now for the part you've been waiting to hear. The nature of the contest itself. To triumph in the right of succession, and thereby claim our nation's throne, you must travel the lands of Yocturol. And find the city of gold. Ooh. Okay, so that's how they're gonna do it. You literally put it in the right succession. Oh, she's happy. They're confused. If I may, father. Speak, Gorna. The Golden City is an ancient Turali legend. But after so many failed attempts to find it, the story has become more fairy tale than fact. If you would charge us with such a quest, are we then to assume you have proof of the city's existence? I offer us proof, my unbroken word, for I have seen it with my own four eyes. The city's real. All those years. This was before the founding of Tuliyoval. I traveled the lands of Tural with my companions. And we ended our journey at the gates to the Golden City. I mean to have you do the same. But in order to achieve victory proper, you need to break the seal I put in place. Bring them. Hmm, what's he bringing? Something to break the seal or help assist us in our task. A map? No, they're carrying something. It looks heavier than a map. Oh, wait, I'm kind of right. 
engravings. Oh, it's the the totems that we saw when we got here. Uh, all the ones that we saw. That explain the story of this place and her father. The Tulihola saga. Yep. Okay, good thing I listened to that. You will retrace the path I walked to unite our peoples step by step. Along the way, seven chosen electors will be waiting to measure your worth. Ah. Earn their keystones by performing the feats they ask of you. Once you've fitted each of the seven tablets with the keystone, you'll have the key to unlock the seal on the Golden City's gates. So the contest is in stages, none of which can be skipped by rushing to the ultimate objective. Mm-hmm. Exactly. Oh. Exciting, is it? Saw something. So also, this is his way of having his children and or, and future leaders, or future leader will be, to walk across Tarot, learn of its people, its environments, and get honestly just get to know the people and their subjects better before they take over. I also feel that's gonna be part of it too. All right, back to the auto. Martial tournaments, hunting festivals, and now this. You do so love your contests, Papa. <laughs> Were I a few years younger, I would have joined in myself, giving you a proper challenge. You may think the ride is tedious or nonsensical, or both, but I am yielding our nation's throne. Yeah. Let me have this final indulgence. A waste of time. Just name Bakunja as successor and be done with it. Ooh, he didn't like that. The right of cessation begins now. I'll be watching your progress with great interest. And Clement. Remember to collect your tablets before you leave. Ah, uh, they got set tablets for everybody. Oh, okay, makes sense. They're kind of our map. It's basically a... What's it called? Oh god, it's not hitting me right now. Oh. You are one of Lamachi's allies. Let's speak freely. I am Cryo Baldessian, representative of the students of Baldessian. My name is perhaps familiar to you? Ah. It would seem you sent this letter to my order some years ago. The ink has since faded and much of the writing is illegible. Yeah, Even your so, we That's managed what I was to of. determine the essence of it. A request to investigate the Golden City. Addressed to my grandfather, Galuf. Included with the correspondence was this earring. A fairy tale and a piece of jewelry were enough to convince my grandfather to sail halfway across the world. So there is surely some greater mystery at work here. On behalf of the students, I've come to seek clarification on the matter. Have you any knowledge you might share with me? <laughs> no, not at this time. I have tasked the claimants with finding the Golden City. To fulfill your request, would afford one of them an unfair advantage in the right of cessation. That honestly makes sense. <laughs> but once the contest is decided, 
I plan to entrust the entire truth to my successor. If you want to hear it, then you have best help Lamachi win. Very well, Dawn Servant. On my honor as a student of Baldessian, I will find your golden city. Thank you for hearing my petition. Got yeah, a feeling that your ring's going to, going to come to play many times throughout this story. They keep focusing on it. But that's just a dead given. We all know that. How about that? She's grown into a remarkable young woman. You should be proud, Galov. I have a feeling that when the right succession's done, we're going to have to face him and both heads are going to be awake. And then I'll be a beast. Oh. Too late to change your mind now, I suppose. But are you sure you wish to be part of this? Eh, I'm along for the ride now. Our third promise is not one to take no for an answer. Though you may have agreed to help, I worry that you were swept up in her relentless enthusiasm. Or perhaps you've been lured by the glory of the Golden City. Either way, this contest for the throne will place you and yours at the heart of political turmoil. Oh sweet, because I love politics so much. If you much. are second guessing your decision, tell me now. This may be my last chance to help you withdraw. Life is a series of journeys, my friend, and there's no telling what awaits us on the long road. But what's important is to be true to yourself as you walk it. Only then can we hope to be content when we arrive at the end of one and step forward into another. <coughs> Sorry. <coughs> Be killing me. Ooh. Man, I came out of nowhere. Oh, let's see. I want to see where this journey leads. Mm. So you are committed to your path. I will speak no more of it then. As for my own involvement, I can no longer conduct myself as a mere guide, I think. Not after the Dawn Servant's revelation. Take. There goes Tuliolo's mightiest warrior. First promise. Our village needs aid. The cold weather stunts our crops, and the children of our village go hungry. Once you ascend the throne, I beg of you, grant my people new lands, please. Sir Elja. Take heart, tiller of the soil. The resilient son, blood heir to the dawn servant, has heard your pleas. Soralcha, the first promise and commander of the landscape. Soralcha, the palace seer. As he was so careful to remind the crowd, 
Soraltja is indeed the natural child of Gurul Jaja. And resilient son. Is that another title, like the first promise? After a fashion. Common knowledge has it that two-headed Mamulja cannot sire children. Yet Soraltja was born all the same, with the head of Resolve's features and the head of Reason's scales. An extraordinary example of life's unyielding resilience. And a warrior's reticence. He says little, but the way he moves... I know a hardened soldier when I see one. He's a natural swordsman. A gift he inherited from his father. Some even say that the son has already surpassed the sire. Yeah, can't wait to see him Should in action. Should he come to power, the first promise means to employ that martial prowess in the conquest of foreign lands. For this, he and his supporters have been labeled expansionists. This puts him in direct opposition to Wuklamat, who advocates for the preservation of peace. You may recall that she spoke of a claimant who cannot be allowed to rule. That is Soraltja, the warmonger. Kryon, are you all right? <sighs> the echo... It gave me a glimpse into Zoraljar's ambitions. Yeah. Deep and unknowable, like an abyss. Yet at the same time, a roaring, unquenchable fire. <sighs> it was a trifle terrifying, to be frank. Oh, here comes number two. Is it going to be the... Yep, there he is, the machinist. You must bring us more marvelous conveniences, more dirigibles and trains and the like. We need you in charge to make trading oh, easier. He's the guy who made the air balloons and stuff. And the crystals. The elders, they complain and complain about abandoning tradition. But we're not like them, afraid of everything foreign and new. You have our wholehearted support. With your ingenuity and knowledge, you're sure to win the contest. Forgive me, but the rite of succession is barely begun. I will hear your petitions if and when I am named Don Servant. If you will excuse me. Plain spoken, as always. <laughs> oh, that's our corner. Practical to a fault. Here we have Kona. The second promise. We spent time as a pupil at Charlian's own studio. Now that you mention it, I think I did see him in the halls once or twice. There was nothing to suggest he was too rally, much less from a royal family. That was by design. He forwent his usual garb and took an Eorsian name to avoid attention. So it was Kona who introduced the dirigibles. And the railway too, given what we just heard. In furtherance of his goal, to enrich Tuliolal with every bright notion he learned of in Sharlia. He is the hope of those who prize innovation. As aloof as he may seem, Kona and Wuklamat actually get along rather well. They bicker and banter, as only close siblings do. And is it? Oh, it's him. <laughs> How gracious of you all to cheer the lesser claimants. Are you afraid of? 
I'm no different from your dawn servant. That my kind should reign is Mamulja tradition, and has been so since before there was a Tuliola. I'll brush aside your feeble contenders, and then you'll see who deserves your fealty. <laughs> Well said, brother. The Mamuja have finally found peace in Tuliolal. Ah, a pity those fanatics are intent on keeping that tradition alive. The chosen of Mamuk, Bakul Jaja, winner of the recent martial tournament. And the only claimant not of the Dawn's promise. His strength is undeniable. But... You see how he is. A few devoted Mamulja are his only supporters. What would he do with the throne should he win it? Everyone's leaving and she hasn't come out yet. His policies and so forth? I doubt he's thought much beyond winning the contest itself. But one thing seems certain. If he does become Dawn Servant, he will see the Mamulja exalted as the ruling class, and all others forced into subservience. Sounds like another that cannot be allowed to Everyone, rule. you're leaving. We have one more, the third promise. Oh, wow, no one cares. Oh, except a few. for one thing and one thing only, Third Promise. To abide together in harmony with our neighbors whom we love in this land we share. It is our way, the Turoli way. Galul Jaja built for us this peaceful nation, and we beg you to preserve it. You have my word. I won't let your pleas go unanswered. Until Tuliolal was founded some 80 years ago, this continent was ravaged by war. The eldest among us remember that dark era, and they are Wuklamat's most ardent supporters. Apologies, it's hard to get away. This is Namika, my childhood nursemaid. She's been like a mother to me my whole life. She has the I told her it wasn't necessary, but she insisted on seeing us off. I place our precious third promise into your care. Now, only people who have played uh, the uh, Heaven's Ward Hildebrand quest will know, but she has the face of the elderly Dragoon. Back we go. Did you know Wuklamat was taking part in the Rite of Succession? Of the Dawn's promise. I thought it was only Zoralja and Kona. If she has any accomplishments to her name, I've yet to hear them. Good job for being quiet, guys. Compared to the two Mamulja, she pales in martial prowess. And then there's Kona, who's far and away the most educated of the bunch. I hate to say it, but it's hardly a competition. It's fine. More than anyone. I understand how much better my brothers are than me. Better? Wook Lamart. I have never thought of you as the lesser sibling. Your brothers may excel in their respective ways, but you boast qualities that both lack. A strength that is yours alone. Having cared for you for so long, I should know. 
Thank you, Namika. Well, we ought to be on our way. Yes, hurry along. I await word of your victory with bated breath. Yes. Let's do this. By let's do this, I mean if I'm actually done, I am gonna actually take a. Oh. I'm gonna take a break. I'll be back. All right, I am back. Let's do this. Let's talk to everyone. Aaronville. As you just witnessed, Wuklama has no great army of supporters. Not yet, at least. Trial. I, I know not what drives Zorja, but engulfs him like an inferno. Elvenode? So, Kona, the second promise, is intent on developing his society by means of Char Charlian innovations. Given his background, suppose it should come as no surprise. Alize, that two headed climat, Bakujaja, treats everyone around him as a lesser beings. No doubt he'd try to elevate the Mamuja above other races should he become Dawn Servant. Not unlike how the Garlean Empire afforded special status to pure blood guardi Garleans. Okay, walk. Well, so much for that brief union I had in mind. Papa is not one to waste time when he decides to act. I'm used to it by now, of course, but others are often caught off guard. In any case, we should talk about how we're going to find the silly city of gold. All we have to work with is seven talismans and their connection to the Tululial Saga. Might I suggest first comparing the tablets against the pillars? We could check for any uh, discrepancies between them. Good idea, let's go take a look. Makes sense. Alright, uh, the quickest way is back, honestly. Yeah, my Wanderer's Tales expired. I never actually gotta do them. I have to go grab a new journal. I'll be doing my uh, dailies and all that off screen for now. I doubt you need to see me doing those. Which, by the way, if you're wondering, yeah, I'm quite low on my tombstones. Because I am making my ninja weapon. Alright. Alright, we wanna go here. Man, why is everyone hanging around in there? I don't know. Alright, we're back. Alright. Cryle, what are you looking at? I won't give up until we find the Golden City. For Waklama, as well as myself. Elize? I wasn't expecting events to progress that quickly, but I won't complain. The contest is more re the main reason we're here after all. True, true. Uh, Aaronville? The preparation of inter... Oh, the preparation of in... in... Uh, inter... In intricately carved tablets for all Clement must have taken considerable effort and forethought. We should consider them weight... them weightly reminders that this contest is no light-hearted matter. Hmm. At glance, they seem much the same. Alpha Node, you're... It makes... That makes everyone. Well, up. Tablets, if you would. Of course. Alright, what do we have here? I mean, honestly, this will probably be the best course for everyone to take. Oh, no. Everyone has a tablet. Then let's compare them to their re respective pillars. Keep an eye out for even the smallest differences. I.
It looks about the same. That guy only took a quick glance at the little tablet he has. Unless I'm missing something, the glyphs appear to be identical. That's true. The only difference being that the tablets have hollows where the keystones are to be fitted. So now that we have established that the scenes are the same, where do we go from here? The Dawn Servant said we were to retrace the path he walked in uniting Turrell's peoples. And that we would and that we will encounter seven electors along the way. Then we have the answers in front of us. Papa's path is laid out in the Tur Turiello saga. I cannot speak today. On top of that, I'm staying up to play this because I was busy with something. And I refuse to stop until I get some story in. The events the glyphs portray. Do we know the exact locations where they took place? If one is close, we could go there and search for an elector. That would confirm we're on the right track. Oh, it just hit me. I can claim my collector's uh, edition uh, mount. Oh, I should have did that before I logged in. I'll do that tomorrow. Hmm, let me think. The Lay of Reeds was nearby Hanuhanu settlement. Papa took me there once. It was during a festival season, and the whole village was alive with good cheer. There's also the Lay of Gold, the one involved in Pelu Pelu village which is about the same distance from here. Before going anywhere, we should ask around the, about the road ahead. I heard a lot of talk as we toured the city about a storm we passed through us at sea. Apparently it ravaged Yolk Torol seven d several days ago. Since our roads are not as well paved as Eorzea's, they might they're more suspect, suspect, susceptible to damage from natural disasters. If we want to avoid wasting time taking dead end trail, I suggest suggest we spend a few moments making inquiries. Makes sense. If it's information we need, just leave it to me. I'll bring the information to us. Okay. It would be prudent to ensure we're prepared for the journey. I'll guide you in your to the accommodations I've arranged. Ah, so the bedroom I'm going to probably be using instead the one new Grindia, which I eh, it's just oh, let's go. Because the one new Grindia is the one I always go to. Oh, hey, I think I can guess why people are down here now. <laughs> Yeah, these are the hotels. Okay, come in, Zidane. All right, once again, we're talking to everybody. I'm here for story. Alphanod, what a comfort to have our lodging. Sorted in the barracks, Alize. Wucklemut said she would bring the information to us. I wonder what she meant by that. Kryle? Oh, such lovely little cottages, and they're on the water. They are lovely cottages. Aaronville? Aaronville, there we go. Mm -hmm. That's right. The reservation is under Waklamot's name. If you don't mind, I'll take my companions to you. Certainly, sir. I'll go and track down the third promise. Once you finish organizing your gear, you can meet us outside. Valive Tear. Tia. T. Valive Tea. I keep forgetting some letters are silent. Greetings, visitors of Tiliel, and welcome to the Horard Cabins. Whenever you are ready, I'll show you your rooms. I'll definitely do my d dailies as Sage, because I like Sage. And on top of that, healers get the quick cues. DPS do not. All right, hello. Retire to my room. I want to see what they look like because they want me to go over there and talk to them. I want to see. Oh. Oh my. The unending journey. 
Ah, if you want to view all the cutscenes, which by the way, holy cow, oh man, that was so long ago, I don't remember it. Oh, now this is a lovely room. New Grindia, I think it just got replaced. Give me a second, I have certain things, orchestration, and there we go. Give me a second. Let me see if I can find it. Yeah. And sadly, that's going to stop playing. And yep. Hmm. Alright, let's go. Alright, we're going over here, so it's fine where I'm running. I love looking at uh, some musical or uh, some music scrolls I have. And the emotes that not many people have. Unless you feel like forking over a lot of money. Hey, the statue is nice. It's still over there. Yep, wait, my companions. Uh, that painter outfit's so ugly. You will never catch me wearing it. And if I'm wearing it, I'm clamoring over it with my awesome Ivelisse uh, outfit. Alright, everybody. So you're back from your rooms. Trust you Trust you to be the keenest to head out, Vader. Where are Aaronville and Waklama, I wonder? Found them. Oh, good. You're all here. Ah, she brought the two that she was talking to originally, who also have... Okay, yep, yep. Who might your companions be? Each of the races. You remind me of the Final Fantasy X kid with the mask. Seeing as we need information, I thought who better to get from the locals? These two hell from the villages were thinking of visiting. I give you credit for taking initiative, at least. What do you mean, at least? I am honored at that the third promise would seek my advice. I am too happy to answer your questions. Any encounter might be an opportunity to do business. Thank you both for your help. Ah, before we begin, there will be doubtless, there will doubtless be other occasions when we need to act independently. So I brought these for the two of you. Ah, you gave them their own sh uh, link shells, right? What's this? They're called a link pearl. My bad. They're called a link pearl, a gemstone harvested from a special shell. When linked together, they allow people to communicate across a great distance. Is that so? What a handy thing to have! It'll be very useful on our travels. Speaking of which, I should get back to introducing my two new friends here. Oh. Oh, we're... Oh, and now everyone spawns. Okay, that was weird. Alright. Alpha node. Even up close, the Hanu are remarkably similar to the Vanu, aside from those brilliant feathers, of course. Trial? Who should we speak to first, do you think? I don't know. Alize, what do you think? Is there a reason that Pelu Pelu all wear those masks? I don't know, helpful Hanu. Please ask anything. I'll be glad to tell you what I know. Blue? A stroke of luck to forge his connection to the the palace. May be with the beginning of a profitable partnership. Oh, look at that snake! Look at that thing! Oh, that's really nice, Aaronville. Walk Lamont may not be as experienced or accomplished as her brothers, but she has an affinity for the people. For her, finding those willing to cooperate is as simple as asking. The Tulial Saga features a number of Turok clans. Two of those, the Hanu Hanu and the Pelu Pelu settlements relatively close to the city, so I brought their respective... I bought a respect... representative of each. Oh, jeez. 
As I mentioned before, the Hanu are a cheerful people who love their festivals. They make their appearance in the Lay of Reeds, and their home village, Okahanu, is located in Kazuma Uka. The other, smaller fellow is the one of the Pelu, a clan of business minded folk from the Orkipaka. They appear in the Lay of Gold and craft all kinds of marvelous goods in Wachapelo, their village. Now, as for design, deciding which village to visit first, why don't you put your adventurous instinct of yours to work for us, Vader? Pick our destination. Upon completing the quest, the main. Okay. Oh! 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 I get to choose? Alright, uh, I would love to do you first, but I'm gonna do you instead. Quest of Kamazuka will become available when you plead, okay? Let's do it! To Aki Urukapoka. The approachable Pelu is waiting for your questions. Let's do it. What is it you want to know? Our main concern was confirming the state of the road ahead. As I recall, to reach Urkipaka, we depart from the Ark of Dawn, then take the road west at the fork. To be wary of anything along the way. That is indeed the way to Akipaka. I'm just gonna call Ukipaka for now on. After the damage wrought by the recent downpour. However, you'll be doing more stumbling than walking. But do take heart, when it comes to rugged terrain, we have a most dependable solution available. Come with me. Well, I saw the Apaka in the uh, quest picture. I could take a guess. Someone's not gonna be happy. We'll be back to talk to you in good time, friend Hanu. Meanwhile, you can eat and drink your fill at Batlave Tea. It's all been arranged. One day, man. Can't wait to meet. Go with you. This one's interesting. We have branching quests. Oh, wait. Oh, wait. Oh, no. We have two side quests. One second. And these ones... Okay, so a big difference in this game is... This is a regular side quest. It's just a round thing. Explanation point. That's just a regular side quest. This is the same thing. Except it's blue. as a plus marker mean. And it unlocks something. So what do you unlock? Oh, the hunt board. A new dawn, a new hunt. A scout of the wing of protection is on the lookout for... Yeah, okay, this is the hunting board. Alright, I'm gonna do it real quick. You're there. You are Bear Torgood, are you not? The adventurer from across the water who's been lending the third promise his strength? Yes, that is me. Then, well, Matt, the truth is, I've been meaning to make her acquaintance for some time. I have a proposition for you. You are familiar with the... E Eorzean hunts, yes? I sound very similar here in Tur Turliel. And have heard much of your philanthropic spirit. Not to mention your capacity for violence. We should very much like to recruit you to our cause. If you're interested, speak to the associate Bo Bal Agua. The Zabral is the is a master of the hunt and administers to the bills in the square overlooking the port. Tell him the wing of protection recommends you. Okay. What outfit is that? I have no idea. Alright, I'm gonna go this way. Right, I'm unlocking the hunt board, which eh, we'll do in good time. Will I do it now? Probably not. I have a lot of things to do. Alright, Polagua, I'm here. What do we have here? Hmm, huh, your posture could use some work, but you got some good eyes. Eyes that have seen a few things. You here to sign up? Of course I am. Huh, the Wing of Protection recommends you, do they? Well, we're always on the lookout for new hunters. And if you're good enough for Wakluma, you're good enough for us. Pleasure to have you with us, Vader. Suppose I better get down the, to the introductions. Or maybe I don't need to. This whole idea came from your side to see, after all. It was Kona who showed us your ways. Either way, I'll keep it brief. Our hunts work uh, much the same way they do in Eorzea. We put the bounty on those beasts and that you prove themselves. And the people, you kill them, okay. While your reputation may precede you, rules are rules. The rules is I must test every hopeful out on the beginning bills. Can't have every youngling with nothing into his name 
but a pillow, a plowshare, and a dream, a dream of glory skipping merrily away to his doom. Prove yourself a turtle, I'll give you some bigger, fitter fish to fry. Yeah, okay. And also, if you remember correctly, the Viper uh, guy said that they mostly do the hunting board. That is their job. Okay, and you unlock more at 94. What do we have? Well, I would do these, but I am busy. Crafting. Yeah, that's uh, crafting. All right. And now I'm going to do this one. Oh, sightseeing log. I'm just doing that. Okay. All right. We're getting there. So, so funny thing is, I can almost, I'm about to leave the city. And then I get pulled back in because these. But yeah, I recommend, if you don't want to do side quests, it's fine. But always do the one with the plus. They unlock stuff. Most Sometimes they unlock minions. Sometimes, rarely. Because mounts usually are unlocked in other ways. But some of them do have mounts. Make no mistake. And uh, some of them... Is it up there? If so, that's going to be unfortunate for me. How do I... I mean, I guess I can take the long way around. But yeah. Uh, most of the Also, they unlock uh, dungeons. Some of them do. But yeah. Just... Oh, and also, some of them will give you... I'm not sure how they're going to be done in this expansion. Aether points, which are used to fly. You have to get... In Heaven's Ward, they were done in a way I absolutely hated. In Shadowbringers and M. Walker, they were done better. Slightly better, but better. I'm not sure how they're going to do the uh, Aether Currents in this one. Do I have my compass? Give me a second. Do I actually have my compass? I do not have my compass. Might have to get my compass. All right. Hello. Oh, what happened to my mouse for a second there? That was weird. A fellow Yorzian, am I right? Do you fancy yourself much of a sightseer? Not really. I barely did my log. I have barely done my log. Dear old Milith gave you her journal. My, what a small world. It just so happens that I'm her cousin. Elzebe, Ironheart, at your service. Well, if you're my cousin, Milith, I'm sure you can guess why I crossed the salt, as they say. This consummate is positively brimming with sights unseen by Yorzian eyes, and I'm here to discover them all. My twin sister and I, that is, you see, I have more interest in Yak, while she is more drawn to the, visitor, the vistas of Zack. So it was that we parted ways at the bridge, each of us touring half a twirl. So give me your sightseeing log then. All right, it's kind of empty. Let's see, let's see. Oh, how beautiful. I should like to see these places myself someday. Oh, I'm sorry. Let me just scroll down. All right. My notes of Yak Turl, I include my sister shared with me of Zak Turl, but I'm afraid it isn't much. My twin's name is Emily, Emeline, M Line, Emmeline, and she is still wandering over there. Given your nat natural affinity of Iron Hearts, you'll doubtlessly run into her someday. Well, I'm sure you got places to be and vistas to behold. May your journey throughout Turl be bright and unforgettable. I'll do my best, but I'm not doing that. <laughs> Yep, yep, yep. If you're wondering, oh, my mouse went, oh, wow, oh, my mouse sensitivity went up. There we go. Now it's normal. Uh, let me see. Log, sightseeing. Yeah, if you're wondering, I do not do this. Just saying. Why? Uh, I just don't feel like it. Like I said, I am a casual thing, and I guess the sightseeing log, I can easily do casual. I just don't feel like it. Oh, come on, game. So with it getting a little late for me, because I got pulled off to do something else, my friends wanted to play with me, and yeah, I'm like, yeah, sure, why not? Um, let's see, I already went 36 minutes, but, and now this one's going for 20. I'll go a little bit longer. I'll, I'll, I might do it until I finish this quest. Ignore these. They're nothing. Let me explain what it is. I, I, I yeah, yeah. Uh, Namazu quest, beast tribe, pixie thing, beast tribe, maybe beast tribe. Technically, I still can't leave yet. Ark of the Dawn is still 
Yeah! Alpaca! Alright, let's... I'm gonna save Wakum up for last, because I know for a fact she's gonna hate it. Cryo? Oh my, are these fluffy babies or mount? Oh, fluffy babies. Alize. The Pelopillo are small beings. Uh, oh god, small beings. The Pelopillo, all being small, is confusing enough, but those masks make it almost impossible to tell men from women, let like, alone guess their age. That is the point. The beasts are sure footed, that's for sure. And Alpha Node? Talking to the Pelo before we departed was a wise decision. I, for one, would rather not brave a treacherous, slippery trail on foot. Alright. Walk Lamont. Oh, why did it have to be alpacas? What's wrong with alpacas? Look at them. That's fluffy. Alright. Let's. I think we're gonna figure out why she hates alpacas, hopefully. May I introduce you to our most dependable companion, the alpaca? Those two are happy, and she is not happy at all. These animals can traverse Akapakas steep mountain trails as if they were gentle fields, and all while carrying heavy loads. Our merchants would be lost without them. So they fill much the same niches as our chocobos back home. You don't have alpacas in the Orzia? Alpacas are native to Yachtrol. Eorzea has its chocobos, and the Easter lands have their horses. Well, why go to the trouble of breeding another pack of beasts in a place which ill suits its qualities and where it's not needed anyway? Hmm. But must we ride these little monsters? I get the impression you aren't fond of alpacas. When I was small, and being a bit naughty, I went around pulling their wool. One of them spat on me. It was the foulest stench you can imagine. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah, she uh, messed around and found out. <laughs> I see. What? Why are they like the ride? Alpacas bred as mounts are inquisitive and docile. Even without experience. Even those without experience find them easy to handle. That face. We're really doing this then. So, was my information useful to you? I... Yes, this... Very helpful. Even if it wasn't what I wanted to hear. Good, I'll take payment now. You want me to pay you? Uh, uh yeah. I guess I should have expected much, uh, expected as much from a Pelu merchant. Let me see, what do I have on me? The Pelu Pelu value the act of spreading joy through trade, as you should know. They take pride in making deals that benefit both parties. Well, I guess that's good if it benefits both parties and it's not like a one-way deal. Here you go, fair price for your fair advice. Yes, I made a trade with the third promise herself. My friends will never believe this. I shall be on my way now. I wish you safe travels. Off you go then, and thank you. Better not get spit on again. You've brought that on yourself. Remain calm and gentle. So will they. I'm still not happy about this, but if we need to ride alpacas to reach Ukipaka, then so will do. I keep changing the pronunciation of that word every damn time. Akipaka, Ukapaka, Urka the Kufa how many times can I pronounce that word differently? Who knows? Oh, we're actually just traveling there. I'm not even going to see the outside world myself. To rally poets of yore sang of a mountain that would stand tall, even should all other lands sink beneath the sea. Indomitable and eternal, it arises from Urkopacha, Urko the hundred peaks of time. Okay, that makes it easy. Orkopacha. Of all the beasts which crawl and fly, only the legendary Valikarmanda could hope to disturb the summit's serene majesty. Yet, with that flying calamity imprisoned by the Dawn Serpent, what great feat remains for those who would claim the throne? Orkopaka. Orkopaka. 
I now know how to pronounce you. I'm so happy and I'll forget when I get on tomorrow. Rookie Paka. So this is Urkopacha. Urkopacha. I've never actually been here before. <sighs> the air is so crisp and clear. Mountains everywhere you look. That one massive peak in particular has quite the presence. It puts me in mind of Som Al. That is Warkor Sormor, the tallest mountain in Yoktural. Its sheer height makes it an imposing climb. But there are other reasons the ambitious keep their distance. Is that where that thing is trapped? Oh, do tell. <sighs> where to begin? Excuse me, but you're Wuk Lamat, are you not? I, I hadn't thought to encounter one of the Dawn's promise here of all places. But I should introduce myself. I am Bol Nok, a weaver by trade. Well met, Bol Nok. We're on our way to Watrunpelo. Oh, truly, <laughs> I've just come from there, as it happens. I'd ask the Pelu Pelu who sell me their wool to give me a tour of their alpaca ranch. The head rancher and I shared a bottle of mezcal while he explained the finer points of wool production. Mezcal? Is that a local beverage? It's an Urkopacha specialty. A spirit made from distilled agave heart juice. Yes, and it must have done wonders for my mood, for I tripled my usual order of alpaca wool. Uh, they did offer me a discount, though, so it wasn't a bad deal in the end. <laughs> Ah, but listen to me, boring you with my tedious stories. I, I will leave you before you are lulled to sleep. Uh, goodbye, and safe travels. Oh, silly me. I almost forgot to say the thing I actually wanted to say. Peace for Tural. I agree with your vision, Third Promise. You have my support in your bid for the throne. I gather from his tale we would be foolish to underestimate Pelu Pelu merchants. Yes, they do more than run the markets in Tuliola. Pelu Pelu peddlers can be found everywhere in Tural traveling from place to place on their sturdy alpacas. They are effusive and engaging speakers, and many is the customer who's been talked into spending more than they bargained for. Hmm. They won't find this customer so easily charmed. Oh dear, I got a feeling uh, she's gonna immediately fall for it. Listen, if Estinian- Watch him pillows down the path. Off the main road. Don't get lost. Listen. It's right there. Uh huh. Listen, if Estinian can get swindled out of money for a, just a simple hair tie, but then again, he is not good with money. Yeah, uh, it's a. Oh, I'm in the world map. So this is my first. Oh wow, it's actually a pretty decently sized. Walor's Echo. All right, and we can kill alpacas. All right. I got no reason to kill an alpaca right now. Striking dummies. All right, give me a second. Let's see if I can do this.
I'm feeling pretty good. Nope. Oh, darn it. What's the button? Nope. 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 I'll just walk away from you. Alright. Yep, my comboing is feeling pretty darn good. Alright, give me a second, guys. I just gotta run away from that. I forgot how to make it stop. I know there's a button combo. Come on. Go away. Hey, buddy. Ignore me. There we go. Ah, oh, we're doing this? Alright, let's do this. Actual battle. Oh. You. Bravo. You almost got me, man. You almost got me. I don't know how I lived. Alright, I think when I finish this quest, I'm gonna... Uh, you know what? I'm gonna do that real quick. But I'm gonna call this one here for it is getting late for me. Usually I lay down around 7, 7.30, pass out around 8, 8.30. There we go. Got that. Softly. 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 I can't... Oh yeah, here's my... Yeah, Firebird. I might change them out though. I'll be, uh, yeah, I am changing them out. I'm gonna get the arc tomorrow. All right, Cryo, how you doing? This the palace crowds for more supportive of her brothers, but Walk Lamont's peaceful politics do have their do have oh uh, god, but Walk Lamont's peaceful politics do have their quiet adherents. I see. She has the everyday common folk who work. I see. I feel the change in altitude most keenly. While mayhap not the same degree as the sea of clouds, the air is, is, is decided this decidedly thin here. Now, is there I could see no more. I can see more buildings down the path of Ball Knock. Was well, uh, uh, I am not reading good right now. I could see more buildings down the path. The path Ball Knock was talking. Was taking. I wonder what's over that way. Hmm, no idea. All right, Aaronville. Nope. This is Wakapella, home of the Pelepelu. Wakumut should have arrived before us. Unless she got lost. Oh, there she is. That's not good. Oh no, she's getting swindled! You've come all this way for the right succession. Oh, so this means I'm exchanging words with the future Dawn Servant. <laughs> Please, the outcome is far from decided, but it is a possibility. How fortunate, then, I deal in cloaks woven for especially luxurious alpaca wool. Such a garment would look magnificent when draped over the shoulders of our budding ruler. Mm -hmm. And our nation's ruler should dress her best for her adorning people, yes? Finery for our ladies... Finest lady, that's right. Come, third promise. My well stocked shelves are but a few steps away. Finest lady. <laughs> I like the sound of that. No, no. Bad kitty. Bad. All right, I suppose a quick look wouldn't hurt. <clears throat> what did we just talk about? Aaronville, when did you. I'm not so easily swindled. Ah. Shenta, from the far off Zakturo. Northern winters are bitterly cold affairs, I'm told. I cannot imagine how you survive them without a lovely warm cloak of quality alpaca wool. No, thank you. I'm in no need of new clothes at the moment. Neither is a third promise. Perhaps another time. Of course, of course. My shop door is always open. You were saying something about not. Uh, you were saying something about not easily being charmed. I was. Uh. As I mentioned previously, the Pelo people live for bringing happiness through trade. They won't cheat you or sell you defective goods. They will, however, disarm you with their deft turns of phrase, and unwitting customers like Wakluma fall prey to this affair. Affable approach time and time again. 
Your only recourse is a, a clear and firm refusal. They won't pursue the matter should you make your dis disinterest plain. A valuable insight into the mind of Pelu Pelu. Let's take Aaronville's words of caution to heart. Mm-hmm. Yes, definitely. Walk Lamont. Man, I'm still level 90 and I feel like I barely scraped this story. Let's see, where am I starting next time? Traders of happiness. Mm. Bam, I'm gonna end this one here. Here, I'll put myself one health for you. Now I'm gonna bring it back up with Aurora. All right. But yeah, um, I'm gonna call it here. Next time we'll pick up in this town of the Pelo Pelo. Of the merchants, of the people who look like those people in Final Fantasy X, which is probably where they got their inspiration for this race. Yeah, I'm gonna call it here. I'm gonna, you know, go to bed, go to work tomorrow, and then I'll have the weekend off, and I might play more of this. Uh, I gotta also figure out when to start uploading that. Well, it is uploaded, when to start releasing it. I'll figure out as I go. Got a feeling this one's gonna be a long one, though. I'm only halfway to level 91. Now, I usually judge the, how far I am in the story by my level. And yeah, well, then again, I literally just got here. But I'm gonna see you next time. And next time we shall investigate this village a bit more and continue on from there. But until then, I'll see you next time. Goodbye.